one, two, three. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Hey, my name is Josh Rogerson, and I record the Tiny Desk Concerts here at Bob Boylan's desk at NPR. So I'm here to talk to you about some tips, including how to mic things. Now, conceivably, you could record your entire concert around one stereo microphone. That's how this whole thing began. So this is an MS stereo microphone, which needs to be decoded in post-production. But if you have a recorder with built-in microphones, such as this Sony D50, or a Zoom recorder or something like that, you can certainly use this as the main centerpiece mic. All right, let me show you how we mic the piano. Well, here's how we mic the piano. Uh, my favorite microphones to use are the Sennheiser MKH-40s. I have them set up on a little Rowie clamp. The Rowie clamp is clamped on to the lip of the end of the piano in the back. Then I've got the two cardioid condenser microphones at a 45 degree angle. Because space is so tight at the tiny desk, I need to be able to roll this piano all the way up against this bookshelf. So in addition to your stereo microphone, which if you are recording outside, you should definitely use wind protection, you might want to augment that stereo recording with some individually mic'd instruments. Now, bass amps often come with direct outs, so you can take your handy XLR cable and literally patch directly out of the bass amp. That way, if your bass player has a little solo, you'll have a little bit more control to ride that level in and out of that stereo mix. Next, I want to talk to you guys about how to mic a guitar amp, but before you mic the guitar amp, make sure your guitar is in tune. This one is not. This is a very industry standard Shure SM57 microphone. You want to find the center of the speaker so you can look at the back and see exactly where it is. Put the microphone in a stand and mic it like that. The other microphone I really love to use on amps is the Sennheiser 609. It is a side-facing microphone. I will take an XLR cable, dangle it down right to the center of that speaker, plug in the microphone, if you can find the threading, and um, put a little piece of tape to keep that from spinning around so that the front element is facing the main speaker of the amp. Even if you have an acoustic guitar or an acoustic banjo, if it has a line out, I always take a direct out. This is a passive direct box, and it just gives me the ability to take that instrument direct, which doesn't sound wonderful by itself, but when you mix it in with microphones, it really is lovely to get that articulation. But remember, this is not about audio fidelity. It's all about your music and your song. So hold up a cell phone or memorize it and shout it over a phone line or just however you decide to send in your entry. We'd be thrilled to receive it. Good luck.